Are you looking for a quick, professional way to automate, schedule, and monitor complex business workflows across your entire IT environment? So whether you're managing mainframe, cloud, or hybrid systems, VMC Control M helps you orchestrate data pipelines, file transfers, and application workflows from a single unified platform. Control M is a leading workload automation solution that enables organization to automate the scheduling and processing of business workflows across diverse platforms and applications. It provides a centralized point of control for all of your batch jobs, integrating process from mainframe of the cloud, and making it easy to build, monitor, and manage workflows through an intuitive graphical interface. With Control M, you gain complete end-to-end -end visibility of your data pipelines and workflows. The platform supports cross-application and cross-platform scheduling, job dependencies, workload balancing, and event-based job execution. It integrates natively with leading technologies like Airflow, Snowflake, Azure Data Factory, and major cloud providers like AWS, and can also be provisioned on premises in any cloud or as software as a service. Control Amp's automation reduces errors, improves productivity, and accelerates employment by supporting jobs as code or CI-CD toolchains and DevOps collaboration. In this video, we'll walk you through the basics of Control M as well as its key features and basic tasks. So, without further ado, let's go! First things first, head over to their website, which is bmc.com, and then under the products, you should be able to see here their Control M. So once you have seen their control M, you should be able to see all of these things. So you can take a tour of their actual product by clicking onto this option right here. Once you have clicked on that, you just need to answer these forms and then click onto this get instant access. So this is a product tour of the actual BNC control M. So in here we have the Jet, which is the Gen AI advisor. So let's first see what's their capabilities. So their Gen AI is actually a powered jet, which is actually a revolutionizing management of your critical workflows. You can just click on this jet option right here and you can see in here their introduction. So let's head over and then ask them something. Just type in here a question and then send it to them. And then they will show you in here the results for that. So I ask for a list of applications currently active with job counts according to the VNC and we have in here those applications as well as job counts. It provides a tab tabular data for that and also a summary for this. Now on the summary you can see in here the information to quickly identify and resolve problems based on questions that we ask. We can also see in here the past issues that we encounter based on those applications. Now, you also can drill a scatter chart for this data. You can ask for a scatter chart for it and export it if needed. So in here, we can just ensure accuracy by using their Jet AI by providing information that aligns with the system's real-time data. You can click on those and from there, you can see some compliance and audits as well as important areas covered by this particular AI. Now in here, you can also see in your other tabular forms and you can just proceed with the actual speak up and also ask some more questions about the focus of this. So in here, it will show you in here and spot some anomalies that's happening and help you take corrective measures. Now they can also orchestrate SAP measures. So SAP is critical for many areas of your business and using Control M, it can actually simplify the orchestration of those workflows. So for example, we have in here those workflows, you can just go directly right here on the right cybers and you can find those to SAP. So it will be integrated based on that and you can see in here the actual operating system for those AS 
SAP servers using libraries provided by them. So you can just click on those and then you can find them once installed. And in here you can see the integration. Now in here you can see or set up a connection profile with the required authentication and connect details based on those SAP. You can just input the username as well as the password and in here you can just continue creating the task. Here we have we can select the first appropriate connection profile and you can define the specific type of SAP action. You can also input right here the job manually or use query selection to access the SAP environment. And you can find right here or choose when a job should run using custom or factory calendars based on this. So here is the calendar for that. Calendars can be exported and brought into Control M automatically with reduced manual error. You can see in here the workflow and you can just automatically use this as yours. Can provide insights based on the data added for this and automates everything by integrating the SAP. Now we also have in here the Snowflake integration. So in order to do that, you can find in here the flow of most Snowflake job, and from in there you can just select the operations for this one. So in here you can see the actual Snowflake job and you can enter in here the details for that in order to run the stored procedure. You can easily access those Snowflake jobs directly and identify those and access the object within the Snowflake that you can see right there. So under your Snowflake, you can actually see all of this data and you can actually do a Control M connection profile based on that can just input right here the connection name profile and then from in there just input the data staging area that enables data loading. You can input right here the container for those jobs and in here you can see the audit reports based on those jobs that has been added onto the workflow. You can also provide information and action as well as individual users to take on jobs like rerun, view output, and some more. You can actually track in here the jobs, whatever their duration, and resolve dependencies based on this. Now in here we also have in here the control M job that is actually immediately available once the Snowflake job has been run successfully. So in here we also have the permissions that you can actually tweak in order to maximize everything under the control M. So as you have noticed, this is just one example of how data teams can work intuitively using the Snowflake with the compliance level with Control M. So thank you for watching our BMC Control M tutorial. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up and share it with your network. Subscribe to our channel for more insights on workload automation and IT productivity tool. So what are your biggest challenges with workload automation or job scheduling? Share your thoughts in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching.